Most people in America are familiar with the concept of propriety. Propriety is the area in which we learn what is and isn't appropriate in social etiquette for society. What type of language Americans are expected to use is not some backwoods slang and twang. What Americans of every age group who is over the age of majority is expected to know from their, well, secondary and possibly post-secondary education is how to use the Lord's English. As a man who has taught ESL, or English as a Second Language, overseas for many years, and as a man who taught at the college level there, and as a man who continued a very brief program in helping children of Japan with their homework here, as a very sideline, minuscule program of my business in Blaze Communications LLC, outside of my Japanese language instruction program and my marketing business, I can tell you that people with accents still can speak the Lord's English, especially if they came from Japan because they learn it there. Now that doesn't mean that they're proficient to having fast-paced conversation. So I guess my point is I'm quite accustomed to talking to many types of people that have an accent. But what I do expect is that people of America are going by the laws of America. That people who are brought here are required to have passed a test of some kind unless they're coming here to learn English. And then they're reviewed by their governments and they're determined that they're good enough people to represent them over here in general. However, that doesn't mean that they were raised with the same morals and values as us. Now, human trafficking and the trafficking of information and the abuse of medical records is on the rise. It's beyond the state of medical fraud. It's when people try to insist and insult people of all walks of life with their use and misuse of data and information that probably wasn't theirs in the first place. In life, we have to really be thinking about our Constitution and Bill of Rights. It's really essential today to really recognize where your rights in America begin and end and where your responsibilities and liabilities lay. In life, we do not have the right to spout off is not true. And as a journalist and opinionist and columnist and someone who just writes from that point of view, I have the right to do this without being harangued, harassed, and sued. That is the premise of my channel. It is the point of view of my philosophy. It also is the training of my background. So that should be pretty good for you. Because I don't step into your world and say, I'm going to tell you how to live. I'm going to tell you what to say. I do try to come in and out of the world today with the right to know how much my social media networks are being abused, harangued, overtaken, and literally used by not only the social media companies that host them and promote them as free usage for me and you, but also that sheriff and police officers don't have the right to utilize them for technological tracking and abuse of me and you.